What's going on in Portland at the Moda Center this past weekend? It took now some say a fan took the picture and sent it down and says, "Hey, this court is not regulation. It looks like there's some discrepancies. Will the discrepancies be fixed by tonight's matchup or tonight's tip off between UConn and USC?" Yeah, this is absolutely one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I've never seen on it. a basketball game. I mean, I've been in Portland the last three days, yeah. and it's so wild to me that none of the players who were on the court when they were playing in practice or playing in games could feel that the three-point line was a little bit shorter on one side than it was on the other. Um, from what I understand, the, the one that looks a little bit further away is actually the correct distance, and the one that's closer is about six inches, you know, too close to the basket. <laughs> but... I mean, you're absolutely correct. Like, there was a fan who noticed in the stands at the fifth game that has taken place at the <laughs> yeah. night. The fifth game. So four games have taken place with an incorrect three-point line. And because the game is supposed to be on ABC yesterday, there's a you know certain window that ABC has booked for Texas NC State. The coaches thought, well, we'd rather play on NC State with a slightly maladjusted three-point line than – have to wait and potentially get knocked off onto another channel because, you know, you talked about the ratings and right. all of the interest that has come, right? Like, let's just play at our scheduled time when everybody's ready to watch us as opposed to waiting an hour for somebody to potentially fix this. Uh, it's We've been told that the line is going to be fixed before tonight's game between USC and UConn. I mean, both of these teams have already played a game without <laughs> the line being fixed, so there's that to deal with, and they seem to have shot just fine. But... It's just a little frustrating you think about all of the growth of the women's tournament, right? Like we're talking about all the storylines, all right. of the interests, all of the fun that we've been having over the last two weeks and the fact that the NCAA has a contractor that got this wrong and nobody chose to check it is really disappointing. And just there's been a couple of things, you know, over the course of this tournament that the NCAA has just messed up. And it's just another sign of like this would never happen on the men's side, right? Like they <laughs> hop into all of these different arenas, right? Like they right. have a different three-point line than the NBA three-point line. And we didn't see any problems at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles or the American Airlines Center. Like, they got it right. So there's no reason why this shouldn't be correct for the women's tournament. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.